another thing is to try to be humble. Humbleness is very important. To be humble is different from being weak. Now, this ayah in the Quran is very beautiful. It's at the same time warning and at the same time encouraging. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says to the believers, Man yartadda minkum an dinih, if any of you deviates from his faith, leaves aside his faith, returns to what he used to be before, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would replace you with another group of people. As we say in Farsi, Allah has not made the covenant of brotherhood with anyone. It's not that Allah says, okay, you are my brother, you are my cousin, you are my, I don't know, uncle. And then no matter what you do, we will keep this relation. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides how to relate to you based on what you decide if you are trying to be a good person allah would keep you as his friend if you want to be bad person allah will change like bani israel how much allah blessed bani israel how much allah favored bani israel how many miracles happened to bani israel to the extent that even food was coming for them regularly but when they changed, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala also changed. So Allah says, oh, those who believe, if you become apostate, if you leave your faith, Allah will bring another people that he loves them and they love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In some hadith, it is said that Rasulullah referred to Salman and said, this is the people of Salman that Allah is going to bring, that he loves them and they love him. Then Allah says, among the characteristics of these people that they love him and he loves them, is that they are adhillatan ala al-mu'mineen, a'izzatan ala al-kafirin. It's not that they are the same with everyone. You know, this is not good that you are treating everyone the same in the sense that no matter, you know, what they do, what they are, you treat them the same. No. There are people who are arrogant. There are people who want to make you deviate. With respect to them, you have to be very strong. You know, we have this hadith, If someone is arrogant, you should also treat them with arrogance. In the, not that you become arrogant, treat them with arrogance in the sense that you try not to give in. You try not to accept their influence, their pressure. So Allah says, these people are adhillatan ala al-mu'mineen, a'izzatan ala al-kafirin. Those who know Arabic will understand how beautiful is this expression. Adhilla comes from dhalil, it's plural from dhalil. And here means humble. They are very humble with respect to mu'mineen. But with respect to those who oppose the truth reject the truth and fight the truth they are very strong in order to make us understand that their humbleness is not because they are weak he says 
مؤمنین نات لل مؤمنین علا شوز a kind of highness a kind of high position they are humble with respect to mu'minin but not because they are low from a high position they are humble what does it mean it means that they are very strong but they decide to treat people with humbleness you know sometimes you are a person who is mean who is without any value and significance but sometimes you are a person who has great value but still acts as a humble person adhillatan ala almu'minin like amirul mu'minin alayhi salam although he was khalifa he was the first person in the whole muslim world but the way he was treating widows orphans poor was very humble humbleness with strength humbleness with self respect this is what we need adhillatan ala al mu'minin a'izzatan ala al kafirin